My name is Orko Chattopadhyay. I'm assistant professor in humanities and social sciences at IIT Gandhinagar, and I'm here to talk about our MA program in society and culture. It's an interdisciplinary uh, and multidisciplinary humanities program with uh, disciplines like uh, literary studies, sociology, anthropology, uh, history, archaeology, philosophy, uh, and one of the greatest merits of a program like this is the opportunity that students get to learn from all these different disciplines and it's it's of course an academically rigorous program but it's a program uh, that has also been extremely important for students to make up their mind to take their own decisions in terms of what they want to do after uh, a master's degree and this program has been running uh, in this institution from 2014 uh, and we have successfully run this program for all these years. Uh, we've had students uh, go out of this program into uh, various kinds of uh, civil services, uh, uh, private sector, uh, management, corporate sector. We also have a large number of students continuing their higher studies after the masters, continuing with their doctoral studies in India, as well as in countries like uh, the United States, uh, the United Kingdom, Canada, uh, and, and so on. Uh, it has been a very rich program. And as a faculty member, I can talk about the diversity of a classroom. So, for example, when I teach a course uh, on philosophy of cognition and psychoanalysis, I have students from undergraduate engineering studies, I have students from postgraduate uh, basic sciences as well as engineering studies. I also have students, of course, from the MA program who come from various different disciplines. Uh, someone coming from psychology, someone else coming from anthropology, a third student coming in from uh, sociology and so on. Uh, I also get students from the cognitive science program which runs in the same discipline. Humanities and Social Sciences has a master's program in Cognitive Science and I get quite a few students coming in from there. So as an instructor, to teach in that uh, very diverse classroom is not only a challenge for me, what I can observe as an instructor in a course like that is the richness and the diversity of a classroom like that where these students get to talk to one another and they learn from each other as well, right? That's a very important part of the kind of education we are talking about here. In fact, in this two-year master's program, we have the opportunity, of course, of core courses that range across all these different disciplines that I've mentioned, uh, uh, anthropology, sociology, cultural studies, uh, literature, philosophy, history, and so on and so forth. But we also have a, a whole series of electives that uh, could be taken by the students and this cuts across disciplines. In fact, we have master students taking electives from uh, engineering as well as sciences sometimes and there are some very interesting cross-pollinations that happen as a result of this kind of diversity. Uh, again, any uh, master student is allowed to work with any faculty member, not just within humanities, but outside humanities as well, anyone in the institution when it comes to doing their independent one-on-one -on -one projects that they do with the faculty members, as well as this 10,000 word MA thesis that each student has to write at the end of this two-year program. It's an academically rigorous program. It's a program that allows all of us to think through the, the disciplinary boundaries, as it were, and to also go beyond those boundaries, to look at one discipline from the vantage point of another. To use a literary metaphor from the American novelist Henry James, I would say this is like a house with multiple windows. The way James talked about the house of fiction having multiple windows, this is a house with multiple windows and all these different disciplines are the different windows. They throw light upon each other, they shed unprecedented light upon each other. There's a way in which we can understand, let's say, philosophy from the vantage point of anthropology, literature from the vantage point of sociology, that does not happen otherwise. And this is a wonderful opportunity, I think, for the students to experience this kind of a multimodal education that we offer. 
uh, this program as well as the humanities and social sciences has been quite central to the liberal arts ethos of this institution uh, and the institution takes a lot of pride in this ethos i must say uh, we have a wonderful campus here so it will be a delightful stay for all the students coming in uh, in fact uh, you know as as most of the students would already know it's a wonderful campus on the banks of sabarmati with wonderful uh, let's say colors of nature that awaits you once you come into this uh, institution uh, this time because of the pandemic situation we are going to do the tests as well as the interviews online and uh, the process of application is entirely online and it's a free application process which is still going on it will be on till the end of this month the end of january so i urge uh, any and every excited motivated passionate students who want to uh, be exposed to this this kind of an opportunity to to apply here in the ma in society ma in society and culture uh, program that we have in humanities and social sciences iit gandhinagar uh, thank you thank you very much for your kind listening bye bye